Wow. Got some bacon. I didn't know what I was going to do. And then I seen a video that Emily... Emily and son traveling food. Check her out. She did one, uh, some pasta with bacon and cheese. And I remembered, uh, I do something like that too. And I forgot all about it. And I, I thought, I'm going to do mine. Got some Parmesan cheese, some uh, cream cheese. Some broccoli, salt. Yeah. So I had some extra bacon in the fridge in a Ziploc bag from uh, four or five days ago. I bought it. I thought I'd use it up, and I got some more bacon. Probably use four slices. Some milk. About a kilo of chicken breast. A little over two pounds and uh, I'm gonna grate this with the grater put it in my sauce chicken sauce pasta get some uh, parsley and basil a little bit of garlic and onion I'll use less than a half of this onion like it's big half less than half Got some flour over here. I'm going to put my uh, chicken in flour before I fry it up. And some compound butter I made last week. It's got garlic and uh, parsley in there. And I mashed it up together and rolled it into a little log. Compound butter. That'll go in there somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, let me get this stuff uh, started up. And start frying my bacon. So I got my broccoli all cut up into little pieces. And salt in there, a little tiny bit of water. Got my pasta water going here. And my bacon it's looking pretty good. Got to turn the bacon. Got my chicken cut up. Where's my chicken? Chicken's all cut up. Kilo. Nice size chunks. Pretty nice size chunks. Got my onion and garlic. Oh yeah. Looking good. It's moving along. It's looking pretty good. So I grated some cheese. It was about a cup and a half in there. Parmesan cheese. I grated it with the uh, small grate. Two-thirds of the uh, cream cheese, I cut a piece off the end, and this will be going in. It's a, you know, about six ounces cream cheese. Got my broccoli going, my water is ready to go. Oh yeah. Hmm, I left a little bacon grease in there. Broccoli, ready to go, my bacon, I'm going to chop this up, chop it up, add some onion and garlic in there, get that going, get in there, So I got this uh, chicken all prepped, floured up. 
It's going to help make my sauce. A little bit of flour on the chicken. And, uh, I'll add that real quick. I'll just get these going a couple minutes. Here's my compound butter. It's got the garlic and a little bit of parsley in there. So, that'll help make the sauce too. Get these a, I don't know, a couple minutes. The chicken's gonna cook in that sauce. Um, probably about five minutes. A couple minutes after this is ready, I'll put the chicken in there. Put a little salt and pepper on it. So I got my chicken in there to brown up. Pasta's in. Salted. About a tablespoon of water and four quarts. I mean, uh, <laughs> A tablespoon of salt and four quarts of water. Got my bacon over here already chopped up, ready to go. Got some milk. A cup and a half of milk, I think. This is a two cup container. About a cup and a half of milk. So, that's where I am. I'm going to start frying this chicken up. Get this sauce going. Chicken's looking good. Sounds good. Almost time to make this sauce. Oh yeah. So I got my pasta, I just drained it, put it back in this pot right here. I don't have a uh, bowl big enough to uh, put the everything in, so I'm going to use that pot. Put some salt and pepper on this chicken. Looking good, man, looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and make this sauce. Cup and a half of milk. Maybe a little more, I don't know. That quieted things down a bit. So I got, got my cream cheese. Get off of that wrapper! There we go. The cream cheese. Straggler. So, uh, man, look at that. Like, it's a lot. Grated Parmesan. Just put in most of it. Put a little on top. That looks good. Let's see what happens, man. It's bubbling. Get this cream cheese incorporated and melted in here. Turn the flame down some. Just go low flame. Get this melted in here. See what it looks like in a minute. You can see I added the uh, parsley and basil. It's like a half a teaspoon of each or less. A little extra. flavor. Looks pretty good. I 
it's a lot of spaghetti in there. It's a whole a whole package. I guess I add the bacon in now. Bacon looking good. I don't know what it is. Three or three or four ounces of bacon. It was thick cut bacon. Thick cut. getting thicker so I'll let this chicken and stuff cook real low simmer I don't know three or four minutes so, something like that and I'll add it to me pasta looks good okay added my broccoli Stuff's looking good, man. It smells good. Lots of chicken and bacon, garlic, onion. Get a good camera angle. This all heated up. My spaghetti's probably all stuck together in that pot. Spaghetti's probably all stuck together. Oh yeah, it's thickened up nice. That's a lot of food, man. I'm going to be eating this for a week. Should have put mushrooms in there. Get this heated back up. Broccoli. Hmm. Look at that mountain of food. I mixed it all in there. I was going to make these things. Crescent rolls. No. I just decided not to. Yeah. Looking pretty good, man. I'm going to check it out. Try it out in a minute. Good stuff. Wait. Put some of this on there. I forgot about my extra cheese. This is a uh, very tender, very tender chicken. Mmm, good. <laughs> Man, that's good. Slurp, slurp. Thanks for watching. Pretty good stuff, man.